Good evening. We hope that you're having a wonderful Wednesday, of course. And we're starting off tonight with drug statistics. So 2020 was a very difficult year for many people, but it proved especially hard for recovering addicts. Now here in Kern County, drug overdoses actually took a jump and 23 BC's Austin Westfall. We'll have more on those numbers in just a minute, but let's first take a look at some stats on a national level. So overall, the United States saw a 28% increase in drug overdoses just during the pandemic. Now data collected shows an increase from mid 2019 to 2020 and accounts for parts of that year where people were the most isolated due to COVID-19 restrictions. Now during the same time, California saw a 40% increase in overdoses and Louisiana saw the biggest spike with 54% of an increase in related deaths. And this has been a trend that 23ABC has followed since the beginning of the pandemic. Local addiction rehab facilities seeing an increase in the number of people who are actually really, really needing help. So tonight we're looking further into that issue by taking a deeper dive into those overdose numbers and what appears to be a growing problem right here in our county. 23ABC's Austin Westfall joins us live outside Action Rehab, which is in Northwest Bakersfield, with more on the grim toll the pandemic may be taking on people who struggle with substance abuse. Good evening, Austin. Alex, the Kern County Coroner's Office is laying out the statistics. They say that since the pandemic started, they've seen about a 30% increase in the amount of overdose deaths compared to the year prior. These statistics are grim and to some, they're not surprising. The statistics don't surprise me at all about Kern County's um, deal because nationally we're in the midst of a crisis. For more than a year now, Action Rehab CEO Carrie Quashen has spoke of an epidemic that's been running parallel to the COVID pandemic, the opioid crisis. As the nation shut down last spring, it created a vulnerable environment for those who struggle with addiction. People's anxiety levels are off the chart. People are lonely, bored, domestic violence is up, so people are running for escapes. And that escape may have proved costly for some. According to statistics from the Kern County Coroner's Office, 392 overdose deaths were reported between March 1st, 2020 and March 1st, 2021. That's a 31% increase over the year prior, which saw 298 deaths. And that was a 13% increase over the year before that. As many COVID restrictions ease up, Quashen says the problem persists. People are a little bit happier. Anxiety is becoming less, but the substance abuse crisis has not changed. The Kern County Sheriff's Office says the most recent year's overdose numbers may even still rise because deaths aren't reported until cases are closed and some overdose cases may still be open. People were kind of afraid to go into treatment, so that's changed. He says one positive thing as of late is that Action Rehab's facilities, which are located in Kern, Los Angeles, and Ventura counties, are seeing people being more comfortable getting treatment in person. Virus fears kept many people away at first, and officials say if you think you may need help, it's worth reaching out. If you think that you're having a problem with alcohol or opioids or pot or whatever the deal is, um, if you think you have a problem, you do. Now, if you think you might need help, the number to call Action Rehab is at the bottom of your screen. That is 800-367-8336. They say you can call that number 24 hours a day, and even if they can't help you with your specific need, they will put you in touch with somebody who can. Alex? Austin, did Quashen mention what substances appear to be the most common that people are overdosing on? Yeah, so some big concerns are heroin and alcohol, but perhaps the biggest concerns are illegally manufactured opioids. He says that many of those are dangerously potent and they're getting more and more common. All right, thank you, Austin.